Hey, what's up, and welcome to live.besttechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, of course, everything technology related. Today, Ustream, you know the other app? Yes, they were in the App Store previously with a application that allowed you to, um, well, record video and then upload it later. Uh, and yes, they also had a viewing app in the App Store, but today, as of December 9th, Ustream is now the first application in the App Store to have a real broadcaster application, meaning you can broadcast live video on the internet through Ustream, through the Ustream service, anywhere. As long and you don't need a Wi-Fi connection, although it will be better with a Wi-Fi connection. But you can use your existing 3G connection to stream the video. From your iPhone to the web using the Ustream broadcaster app. So I'm going to show off the application today. And I want to talk a little bit about it first. Used to be that Ustream, they had an application that would that would do it. This, by the way, works on the 3G and the 3GS. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, it just works on the 3GS because it has the video capabilities. But they had an application previously which would allow you to work uh, in, if you had a jailbroken iPhone you could do video and that of course would work on 3G or 3GS although I don't think it worked on 3GS but I know it worked on 3G nonetheless now there's a legitimate way to do it via the App Store you can download this it's completely free download the recorder I mean not the recorder the broadcaster and install it so I'm gonna click it it launches it up it has a very nice interface I'm gonna log in as best techie that's my account and once I'm logged in, it opens up the camera. Now, what's really nice about this is, this, right now, as you can see, I'll follow the camera with this. This is just panning my room. You can see I'm going through the camera. You can see the same exact thing you could if you're using the uh, thing. Anyway, it has the built-in Ustream chat, or it can pull from your Twitter feed. So, and, uh, and it has a couple of options. I'm going to go through the options really quick. You can uh, set a default channel. Mine's the best techie on our channel. You can have it send a location if you want. You can have a tweet on demand. You can have different quality live settings, of course, depending on, um, you know, uh, what your connection is. The If you have a Wi-Fi connection, obviously, you want to go with the 320 by 240. You can also have local recording settings, so, of course, that would be, you want to go with the higher quality there. You can upload this stuff to Facebook, to YouTube, and you can also, as I mentioned, tweet when you go live. I do that. You can also tweet when you upload a video and you can log out. So it has a, a number of, you know, regular settings that, sh that should be there that are there. You can do, uh, you can go to the phone, you can record directly to the phone itself. And you can also manage your account, I believe. Uh, this is local videos, I have none currently. But you can also check your remote videos that are currently on the server. Here's one tech news that I did last Friday. Black Friday deals, customer service experience, and I'm going to go back. So now I want to just broadcast this live. So I'm just going to click go live. And now it's going to tweet out. It's also going to ask me, do I want to send your location? Nah, I won't do it this time. But what it'll do is see how it pulled. Uh, this is from Pawn Hoax. Uh, tweeted this the other day and used the hashtag pound best techie. So it showed up here. Now, now this is streaming live. You can see it says stop instead of go live. Now it's streaming live over the internet. Um, this is streaming on my website, so I'm going to just show you how it's actually streaming on my website. So if we go to my computer, let me just go here, and we go to my website, and we click the live, we click live, it should be live, and you should be able to see me recording this video. Oh yeah, see, it's showing my monitor, 10 viewers currently, if we play it, we can even do more. Actually, here you can t hear myself talking now. Um, but as you can see, it's, it's showing the monitor, which you can see is doing right here. Now I'm showing some more stuff. And it's going on the... W I'm going to stay on the website while I do this. So you guys can see it is actually live. And it's not too bad in terms of lag. I mean, it, it, the lag gets worse, you know, if you have a 3G connection after a while. But it's not that bad on Wi-Fi. Uh, you know, it's fine. I think this is a great application. I expect myself to be streaming a lot more on the go now, especially with this application, especially since you don't have to jailbreak. Ustream, I give you a lot of props for this.
being number one in the App Store for broadcasting live video through the iPhone is a big, big, big success. I give you a lot of props. I've you know, said a number of things in the past, but this Ustream, I'm really happy with what you did here. This is an excellent application. It's fun to use. You're gonna be you're gonna be using this, I think, a lot. I mean, you know, the T Pain application is fun. You're, oh, people love to make video. It's just amazing. So I don't, do I want to save the video? No. Um, although I have noticed that it does save it even if you tell it not to, which is kind of strange. Uh, but I guess that's a bug they're gonna have to fix. Aside from that, that's the only bug I've found. Works wonderful. Anyway, thanks for watching. This, of course, has been live. Well, not so live anymore. Dot best techie dot net. Till next time, we'll see you. And remember, remember, take care of your computers and iPhones. This is amazing. This is amazing. I'm so excited. I love it. I'm going to use it all the time.